Amen. Tonight we want to preach on the topic of the power of staying focused. The power of staying focused. Those that have been spiritually successful throughout the gospel day have possessed the power to stay focused. Not, and it'll be from multiple perspectives that we'll cover in the short time we have with you tonight. But we want to cover um, keeping our eyes on God and not on our situation. Amen. Amen. We're going to break this down. We, Amen. The power to stay focused. My God. The power to stay focused. Focusing, looking to God, and no other source. That's right. If we, have, if we can possess the power, the devil, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Normally, I don't deal with sermons like this. I normally build it as it goes, but I'm just giving it to you. The devil will do all that he can to get your focus off. To get you looking to another source, to get you distracted from the battle. But the Hampton would often say, don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Whatever, if a bomb goes off, don't get distracted. So tonight we want to just really address the power of staying focused. Go to verse 23 through 25. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Keep thy heart with all diligence diligence we don't want to let things get in our heart come on and read for all of it are the issues of life people will bring stuff we will go through stuff we don't want to let it get in our heart the devil whenever you go through something the devil is sitting back saying i got it you imps you you help produce the situation or however the situation develop but you you get it in the heart get it in, get, however you got to rephrase it uh, get them in their feelings. Do it. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Don't, I'm not letting that get in my heart. I, I, I know I, I'm not going to let it get in my heart. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to allow this situation. Man, the devil can let roll rage get in your heart. Somebody cuts you off this and they give you the finger, this thing, whatever. The, you sit there. Hold, hold on. No, they didn't. Ah, guard your heart. Don't let it. Don't let nah, you, it. it, it even parents got to be careful sometimes because children can be disrespectful. Yes. Seriously, they, little children, go to, you, you, whoa, whoa, guard your heart. Don't let that go too deep. Well, well, I bought you in this world. I t whoa, whoa, the Bible said thou shalt not murder. So well, we're gonna kill, 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 I'm sorry. Thou shalt not kill. So I don't know if a saint should say, I bought you in this. We, 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 we got clearance. He said be fruitful and multiply. We got scripture for that one. But I don't know if we got scripture to take them up out of here. But anyway, we don't want to let things. It's been families that had really close relationships. Something happened. And stuff going to happen. But they end up letting it get in their heart. Years later, still harboring. It's been friendships. Something happened. It got in their heart. And, it, and it, when it gets in your heart, you can go around acting like it's all good. It ain't. You let that thing get in your heart. You like, I, I, don't, feel, I don't feel towards you. The way I used to. I tolerate you. But I don't fit. And we all are going to face it on our jobs, in our families, in our marriages, in the congregation, in the community. We all going to face some things that hurt. We're going to face some things we didn't expect. We didn't see coming. You're going to hear some things. You didn't expect to hear that about this person. No, no. Guard your heart. And the more hurt you feel about it, the more you need to get on your knees and say, Lord, guard my heart. Guard my heart. Don't be so strong and so big. I'm good. No, I ain't good, Lord. Lord, guard my heart. Don't let this get in my heart, God. Don't let this get in my heart. He said, guard thy heart with all diligence. But watch how he works with it. Keep going. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Put away from thee a forward mouth. And perverse lips put far from thee. So now he's talking about talking. He's talking about things that disqualify. He said, your heart, something going to get in your heart. Want, them or two, you're going to talk too much. Be quiet. Quit running your mouth. Just be quiet. Go pray that God give you enough grace to be quiet. Why are you always going to say something? Learn to some situations, God going to just put, don't say nothing. Don't hold your mouth if you got. He's breaking up. He said, what, something going to get in your heart? Or you're going to end up talking about something you had no business talking 
just be quiet. The more you talk about it, you ain't careful, the deeper it's going to go. You just keep talking about it. Keep talk. Sometimes you're going to go through something, and God, it could be like a husband and wife dealing with something, and sometimes God going to be like, don't even talk about it. Let it go. Don't, if you talk about it, it's going to go. Don't get nobody that you can get their ear, and they feel like you feel about it. So now you're going to talk about it a whole bunch, and that thing just going deeper and deeper. It'd be, I'm good. I, I'm not going to talk about this soon. Sometimes Brother Hampton would deal with something. And somebody would try to bring it out and say, discuss. Uh, wisdom. I'm not, I'm, I'm not addressing that. I know how I feel about it. I know I'm still working with my heart about it, so I'm not going to keep talking about it. Come on, Brother Lee. Come on. I got to be careful. I don't want to be disqualified. I don't want the devil to get, get. The Bible said we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Amen. Next one. Next one. Come on, Rick. Let thy eyes look right on. Let thy eyes look right on. On. Come on. And let thy eyelids look straight before thee. He's talking about here how to make it. Guard your heart, guard your mouth, and stay focused. Stay focused. Did you see it? Stay focused. Bomb go off. You ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm after something. I'm going after something in the things of God. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm not going to I'm staying focused. I'm staying focused. I'm not going to allow some opportunity to get me, get me to get my consecration out of way. What happened to Brother So and So? He was contending for the faith. Well, you know what? He got this one job, and then he, then, then he lost his focus. Mm. He started chasing money. It was all about money. With it, he, he, he was going to, but got distracted. Parents say sometimes even you you uh, courting and you getting situated in marriage council. That you know how wonderful a wedding is. That he said, listen, I don't care. Don't get distracted. You mess around going up to Grand Rapids to get this, this color for this. Then you're going out to Toledo to get this, that, and you, you ain't prayed that much. And you know when you get distracted while you're courting or engaged and you're doing all, and the cake got to be this many layers, and I want so-and-so to be in it. I want them to march with, and I want this song with. You just, be careful. Sometimes you say, be simple. You, you mess around, you get distracted. You get, see, you, if you get distracted, you're not going to pray as much as you really should be praying. And when you're not praying as much as you really, really should be praying and you're distracted, your, your love is growing. And, 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 and she's beautiful. She's well put together, as they say. And, 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 and he's kind of a hunky. He, he kind of a hunk. He kind of, you know, he, his hair and, he's, and, he, and, 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 and while you're riding, I know y'all got your uh, uh, one, and a half, one and a half year old chaperone sleep in the back seat. <laughs> Playing BB and CC Winans, <laughs> recipe, and you distract it. Next thing you know, your hands just kind of go around over the thing, and y'all just playing. You know, you play handsy. Y'all just start. Y'all just playing. <laughs> just, 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 just playing handsy. Next thing, next thing you know, she, she, she little leg get. How did it happen? And then all. <laughs> we didn't plan it. We did. What happened? You got distracted. You got distracted. So I, you know, I'm, I'm taking counsel. He told us to don't be courting every night. You ain't got that much grace. I mean, he was giving us real counsel. No, you get talked on the phone all through the night. It's one o'clock in the morning. You laying all in the bed. Yeah, what you got on? Which no, no. The butler said, you ain't got no business going to another day on the phone with no sister that ain't your wife. I said, you know what? She said, whatever you got to say, you can say before midnight. I said, you know what? Every little bit, every little nugget I get. Because I, I, I don't want to get distracted. Lord, I, not that I don't want to fail. I don't want to falter. I don't want to slow down. I want to show the saints and the other young people that whatever God brings me in, it don't pull me down. It don't diminish me. It don't slow me down. I'm not going to start courting and come to church late. I'm not going to start getting in the now. I can't. No, no, no. I'm going to pray more. I'm going to make sure I'm there even earlier. I'm going to make sure I don't get distracted. He said here. Read that verse one more time, but Frank. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips put far from thee. Uh -huh. Let thine eyes look right on mm -hmm. and let thy eyelids look straight before mm -hmm. thee. Let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Don't get distracted. All right, let's go over and let's line this up. 
Go to Matthew 14, 28. Matthew 14, 28. And Peter answered him uh -huh. and said, Lord, if it be thou. Oh, brother Peter, come on and read. Bid me come unto thee on the water. Come on. And he said, come. Yes. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water. So now, mind you, Jesus was out on the water. Verse 25, read. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, uh -huh. walking on the sea. Jesus walking. Oh, you say, Billy, how is Jesus? Jesus is Jesus. Jesus can do whatever. Well, H2O, if you got more weight, and I, I study physics, I take everything and put it out the window when it comes to Jesus. So here he's out there walking on the sea. Jesus walking around. Peter sees him and said, whoa, Jesus, you out there walking on the water? Bid me to come. Let me come. Come on and read. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. Mm -hmm. And straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, come on. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Come on and read. And Peter said, Lord, yes. if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. Peter had faith. He said, Lord, you say it. Saints, that's the faith we got to have. He said, if he said it. If he said it. Peter had faith in his word. If Peter just didn't go. He waited till he received word. Amen. He said, bid me to come. How, I know you'll back up your word. My God. I don't care if it's water. I don't care what it is. Lord, if you say it, I believe it. My Lord. Be, Lord, bid me to come. Jesus, can I come? Peter, come. Amen. His word. And thank you. He said, believe. Man, I would do it. Too. I would believe too if I could just hear Jesus. In the beginning was the word. Amen. The word was with God. Right. The word was God. He left his word with us. Just as much as he said it to Peter, come, thank God we can have confidence in the word that he left us. So here, Peter, he said, come. Come on and read. And he said, come. Yes. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. Peter went to water. He knew that. What are you doing up there, man? He said, Jesus said, come. Amen. I ain't studying. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. Oh, it don't matter. Jesus said it. My God. Jesus said it, my God. I'm coming. It don't even matter. Pete, other than side. Peter! It don't, Jesus said. My Lord. Come on and read. Watch where this Amen. is going, saints. But when he saw the wind boisterous. Come on. But went, when he saw. But. 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 When he saw the wind boisterous. Come on and read. He was afraid. Saints, hold on. It wasn't that he just saw the wind. It said, when he saw the wind, boisterous, devastating, a destroying wind, extremely aided. The, 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 the wind is aiding the water, way boisterous. It could get... Watch what happened. Come on. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Okay, for Frank, hold on one second. Let's read it again. And he said, come. When Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Follow the saints. Pray with me tonight. Not later. It didn't say but when the wind became boisterous, he was walking on the water while the wind was boisterous. But he was so focused on Jesus, he didn't see it. My God, my God, my Lord, my Lord. It was already, it didn't get like that. It was already like that. It was already destroyed. The symptoms was what they were. The symptoms are still there, but I don't even see them because I'm looking on Jesus. My God. The situation is terrible. It was terrible when you stepped out on faith. But
but you wasn't studying it. Stay focused. Don't worry about it. If it gets worse, it gets worse. It don't matter. I don't see it getting worse. Don't you see? No, I don't see it because I'm focused on Jesus. My God, my God. Stay focused. My God. It didn't get worse. It was already worse. God showed him when the wind is boisterous, I can still keep you up. It don't matter how high the waves are. Why? Because you're looking dead at me. My God. Amen. Amen. My Lord. So it don't matter. It don't matter what the simple, what the, the simple get what? It, it, I'm looking to my source. My God. Sometimes they say, but Lee, can we get a checkup? Is that okay? How did Brother Hampton feel about St. Go? Listen, that's on you. But whatever you do, stay focused. Stay focused. Whatever you feel God leading you to do, just stay focused, though. Stay focused because sometimes they can come with some stuff. Yes, they can come with some stuff and say this and say that, but you ain't going to sink. You're not going to sink. You're my not going to sink. My God, amen. You're not going nowhere. Lord. Lord. Nobody has ever sunk that kept their eyes on Jesus. Amen. amen. Nobody has ever, you won't read nowhere long, and Peter wouldn't have sunk as long as he stayed focused. My God. But it says when he saw, not when it became. Saints, are you seeing this? Not when it became, but when the enemy is able to get you to see the situation as destructive, to get your eyes off God's word, off God's promise, the power to stay focused, the power to stay focused. All right, let's go over to 2 Chronicles 20, verse 1. Saints, despite how boisterous the winds may come. Despite the report, just stay focused. Stay focused. My God, amen. Just stay focused. You say, but Lee, how do you stay? Stay focused on the fact that God has never let you down. Never. Stay focused, saints. On his word will not return void. Stay focused. Stay focused that he that begun a good work in you is faithful. Stay focused, saints. Stay focused. God got you. You're not going to drown. You're not going to sink. Just stay focused. God got you. Amen. Second Chronicles 20, verse number one. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them others beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. So here Jehoshaphat was all the way surrounded. Come on and read. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria. Mm-hmm. And behold, they be in Hazar Zantamar, which is in Gedi. Come on. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord mm -hmm. and proclaimed the fast throughout all Judah. Mm -hmm. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Come on and read. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court, and said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven, and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heaven, mm -hmm. and in thine hand is there not power and might, mm -hmm. so that none is able to withstand thee? My Lord. Art not thou our God, who didst drive it out to the inhabitants of this land yes. before thy people Israel, yes. and gave it, it to the seed of Abraham for thy friend forever? Come on and read. And they dwell therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying, Come on. If when evil cometh upon us, as the sword of judgment, or the pestilence, or famine, we stand before this house, and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. He's letting God know, Lord, this is your battle. This is your people. This is your cause, Lord. We're not fighting our own cause. We're the people of God. Come My on and God. read. And now, behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, whom, whom thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt. <laughs> Come on. But they, returned, but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Come on. Behold, I say. Lord, I've been following your word, man. Read. Behold, I say. How they reward us mm -hmm. to come to cast us out of thy possession. Yes. Which thou hast given us to inherit. Mm -hmm. O our God. Will thou not judge them? Yes. 
For we have no might against this great company mm -hmm. that cometh against us. Lord, I have no might. Lord, what I'm dealing with, I don't have no power to deal with this. Lord, this is beyond what I'm able to handle. Lord, I... But saints, still, despite the fact that he was dealing with a, a crisis, a fully surround, fully uh, overwhelmed, so to speak, the situation was trying to overwhelm him. Despite all of that, listen to what he said, saints. Come on and read. For we have no might against this great company. I have no might us. against this, Lord. Come on and read. Neither know we what to do. Lord, I don't even know exactly. Sometimes you're not going to know exactly what to do. Sometimes you're not going to, do I do this? Do I not? We were dealing with stuff all the last 24 and 48 hours. Is this okay? Is this? Is, should we do this? Should, Lord, you know what? Some of it, honestly, I, I don't know. I, uh, see, but we're going to stick. We're going to pray. Uh, I, I know we can pray and see God's face. Amen. We don't know. Is this okay? Should we get this exam? Should we not? Should we allow this to? Should we not? They're not going to deaden, but they're going to. You know what? Whatever it is, we're not going to get distracted. My God. We're not going to get confused. We're not going to get distracted at all. Come on and read, brother. Watch this. Read. Neither know, we, neither know what, what, what to do. Come on and read. But our eyes are upon thee. But Lord, our eyes are upon thee. Lord, we're not going to get distracted, Lord. Lord, it, it don't matter what situation I'm in, how confusing it may be, how it seems like it's going to overwhelm the saints. Lord, we're staying focused. My God. Our eyes are upon you. Uh, you, you, I, I, you are our total reliance. Our portion. Many times the devil will try to get our focus shifted somewhere else. And let me just say this, saints. You need to eat right, and we're going to probably be dealing more with this Amen. in the future. Right. A lot of things we could probably prevent. I'm just being real with you. I'm just being real with you. This generation that we're living in, with all these different things and hormones and this, that, and the other, a lot of things, this generation, I'm not just talking about the saints, but just in general. How in the world do everybody got somebody in their family with diabetes? When I, in the 60s and 70s, you, you might knew somebody. How does everybody get high blood pressure? That used to be a person over here. That, it's not just saints. This is all over the community. It was only front of US, USA Today uh, this week. You can Google it if you want to. It said that one out of two or like half of Americans got a heart disease or going to have it. Going to have some artery problems. I mean, I'm looking at this stuff I'm like, well, how is this? But then they, 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 they direct, yes, they directly aligned. They said, listen, more than a gun, more than crack cocaine than this, America is killing themselves. And they put a fork. So are we going to, I'm going to stay focused tonight. Amen. And not deal with that right now. <laughs> but my point is this. Yes, it's imperative. Somebody needed that. Yes, it's imperative to get a smoothie and get this and that. But saints, let me just say it. That's not your source. That's right. It's important to walk. It's important this, that, and the other. But let me. The reason why I'm saying this because we just had to deal with a situation. If you're dealing with a situation and you allow anything other than God to become your source, some situations are beyond your ability to eat and reverse it. Eat may, may, may not let it get worse, but what you need is a touch from God. My God. You need God to divinely come down and impute healing, rebuking the condition because you saying, Lord, I, I'm apologizing. If I bought this to myself, Lord, you show me, and from here, I'm going to eat. But many times, individuals think that they're going to eat a miracle. You're not. You need a touch from heaven. My God. Your my focus God. is God. Don't not, I, I, That's important. We're going to deal with it. That's very important. But that can't be our focus. Not our source. My God, amen. Brother Byron and Brother Warner got into it one time because Brother Warner was really focusing on building faith. And Brother Byron, Brother Warner came, Brother Byron was really focused on building faith, really giving himself to that ministry exclusively and, and also the editorship. But Brother Warner was kind of advocating, you know, you listen, what you want to do is take this. You want to just make sure you use this. This is very good for this, this and that. And Brother Byron said, I appreciate you presenting that as like health healthy but you really crossing a line here i'm trying what we need here is a touch from heaven this is beyond just some eating some levy stuff these arteries are clogged up 
it's like corrosion on a pipe. And no leaf is going to take that out. We need God to reach his hand down and to get inside that artery and clean it all the way out. And now we want to make sure that we don't bring it back. And we want to make sure that we do our part and work with him. But our source and our reliance has to be saints of God on the promises of God. And we want to make sure we are aligned with the promises, making sure we're clear, making sure if we got to repent, Lord, I'm sorry. I had no business eating no two Big Macs. I had no business eating no five uh, slices of pizza and, four, and, a, uh, and a medium sized bag of Doritos, washing it down with a Slurpee and a hot chocolate for dessert with some Hinkleys. I had no business doing all of that. I'm asking you to forgive me for it and be humble enough. If God show you, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. Now I need a touch and I'm going to eat right from here on out. So the point is, is this, he said, Lord, it looks like it's overwhelming. My God. But our eyes are upon thee. When he looked, God told him exactly what to do. He said, tomorrow, this time, this, that, and the other. And let's look at this. Just the last verse to look at the outcome. Go to verse uh, 22. Same chapter, 15. I mean, sorry, 20. chapter 20, verse 22. And when he began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushment against the children of Ammon, mm -hmm. Moab, and Mount Seir, mm -hmm. which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Mm -hmm. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to the slay and destroy them. Mm -hmm. When they had made an end... Go down to verse 25 at times, because we already worked through this, but verse 25, come on read. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them... My, my, my. They found stop among right them in stop, abundance... Stop, stop right there. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's, that lets Amen. you know how it happened. They came and took the spoil. In other words, it was victory because even though they were surrounded and the situation looked so dark, saints, many people can sing it, they can testify it, they can preach it, but saints, when you surround it, the power to stay focused, when, when it seems that, whoa, whoa, I'm not just giving y'all no lullaby tonight, the power to stay focused, not when it's peace. Because everybody can stay focused. When, if it wouldn't have been no wind that night, Peter would have been still walking on water. The next day, whoo, shout, whoo, glory, whoo, Peter, what's your name? Uh, Peter, shout, glory, glory, glory. You're doing all that shouting because there ain't no wind blowing. But as soon as that wind kick up, no, my, I, 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 but I didn't want I didn't want my brother told me, whoa, who's I going to call? I didn't want my wife. I didn't want, I didn't say, what? It takes power. When you're sitting there, just dealing with the situation the other night. Wife in the other room, babe, I, I just, whoa, whoa, we got to stay far. Babe, it's all over. In the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil. Lord, in Jesus' name, right now, Lord, give me strength. Call on the brother. Pray for me, brother. What? Did I stay focused? This situation, the devil's trying to overwhelm me. You won't sink unless you look at the situation. This is no joke. This is war. This is spiritual warfare. This is what your devotion is about. This is what praying through the night is about. This is what compromise is about. People don't wake up in the morning time and just say, you know what? Today we're going to be a compromised church of God. No. They didn't understand spiritual warfare at this level. And something happened. And they shifted their focus. Then a message on staying focused began to offensive. This is no joke. You got to give up life to do this. And just have no shoddy devotion. Do what you want. No. You're going to stay before God. Exact your labors. Have a real fast life and pray life. Lord, give me the power. If my wife leave me, I'm all alone. Lord, give me the power to say, Lord, on my job, the boss is cutting up. Lord, give me the power. To stay focused. I will call the ACLU. I will call the NAACP. I will call the Lord. I, just stay focused. I'm not going over here. I'm not going over there and getting this. I'm not relying on this source. And that's it. I'm not. Lord. They talking about me at church. Don't, stay focused. Stay focused. Don't get no little group in the, some corner somewhere. Discuss. Stay focused. Stay focused. You're going to sink. You're going to sink. You're going to sink. Be careful. Something's going to get in your heart. Stay focused. 
I'm sitting right after this. I'm, how, I'm like, how did you? They said this. They saying this. The one that you carried for 20 a turn, they back and just dug it in your. How you coming, man? Good to see you. Praise God. Stay focused. Stay, but so and so left, man. Stay focused. We in the hospital. If, good thing Sister Beaver's father had a gun. If she, if she don't, if something happened to this baby, I'm going to shoot him. Beaters, yep, yeah, you can sit, send the children to bed. I'm going to go outside to the camper. Just going to spend some time in prayer tonight. Not just pray, oh, Lord, give me the no, no. Lord, give me the wherewithal. I'm human. Give me the wherewithal that despite this situation, to stay focused on you. I know you're going to bring me through. It may look a thousand times. Sometimes, saints, you're going to be in a situation that's so dark. It's, you're going to just long for the morning. But if you can just stay focused through the night, Lord, just keep me focused through the night. Lord, keep my eyes up on you. You are going to be able to go back around. You're going to be able to go back around and pick up the spoil. Pick up the spoil. You, another God. testimony. My you got Lord, another testimony. Why? Why, why? How did you? Why? Because you stayed focused. My you God. didn't get distracted. You didn't let the situation overwhelm you. Your numbers are this. Your numbers are that. I understand that. I need information. That's good. But, Lord, I'm just going to pray harder. Lord, keep me focused, Lord, on the promises of God. Lord, the promises are yea and amen. Lord, keep me focused, dear God. You are the Lord God that healeth thee. Lord, keep me focused in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. It's getting worse. Lord, hey, I'm going to pray harder. Keep me focused, dear God. Keep me before. I'm not gonna get distracted. The power to stay focused. Psalms 121, verse number one. The power to stay focused. Psalms 121, verse number one. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. David, in the battle, said, I lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Come on and read. From which cometh my help. Lord, you might, I'm staying focused. Look at everybody that's successful. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Despite being outnumbered. Despite being overwhelmed, despite the symptoms getting worse, I will lift up my eyes until the hills. They were talking about uh, one of the commentaries was breaking out how uh, one perspective was the cavalry would come over the hills. When you're in battle, you're outnumbered, you're getting weary, you look up over the hills, the mountain, they're talking about the mountain. They say, look over the mountain, and the cavalry will come in, your support will come in. And then another one was breaking down to how Jerusalem was on the mountain. Mountaintop, built on a mountain. And they said that Jerusalem, where the ark was, the temple, where the ark was, the presence of God. David said, I'll lift up my eyes to the hills where the presence of God is. From which cometh my help. Lord, despite what we're dealing with tonight in this situation, give me the power. Sometimes the devil want to keep your head down. That's why he come with depression. That's why he comes with anxiety. That's why he come with you with accusation. That's why he come with you with discouragement. He wants you to just keep your head down. Saints, don't allow no discouraging spirit to come over you. Don't you allow no depressing spirit to come over. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Whatever situation you're facing, God can speak right now. It can be reversed tonight, amen. You'll never be on hope. There's Amen. no hope in the situation with a saint of God. My God. Get your head my up, God. my God. Amen. I'm dealing with a financial man. Get your head up. Why? Because if you can keep your head pressed down, you won't look up where your head comes from. My Lord, my Lord. So David said, I'll lift up mine eyes. It takes effort, the power. My God. To the hills. From which cometh my help. Go ahead, but read, but Frank. My help coming from the Lord. My help coming from the Lord. I'm not looking nowhere else. It don't matter what I'm going through. My help. Coming from the Lord. Well, Lee, what about that? Try it. My help coming from the Lord. Why? I don't need nobody else. Read his resume. Come on. Which made heaven and earth. He could have stopped right there. Which made the heavens? Yeah. Neptune, Mars, and Uranus, and Pluto. And well, I heard the Pluto ain't a how in the world Pluto been a planet all my life. <laughs> but now they come telling me after all these years. I grew up in school. You know you go to the Mercury and Venus and Earth and my, 
can't come now, come to my children, come on, Daddy, no, Pluto ain't no planet no more. Who made that choice? Where, where, where'd that come up from? But anyway, I guess it's a star or something else now. But anyway, whatever, star or planet, he knows and he made it. I, whatever y'all want to label it, label it, amen. He still made it. My God. So here he said, my help, our help, saints, cometh who made the heavens and earth. Read, but Frank. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Come on, saints. When he you look up to him and you stay focused, listen how much further he's going with this. He said, you stay focused, not only will you not sink, but your foot won't even move. How's she standing like that? I'm sitting up there even today and yesterday. Six strokes, blood is not getting to your brain. This is, and Sissy, Sissy, what? But Lee, can you come up there and tell them I ain't taking nothing? I, you tell them. <laughs> I don't say, no. They say a feeding tube. So we trying to evaluate because sometimes we can talk real strong and big. We don't believe in doubt. We don't believe in. But every situation, saints, you got to work with it because it's not just an absolute all the time. So they call and say, but look, she's not eating. She had to eat in five days. They can't do this any other. Is it okay to put it just a tube? And now my mom, I'm like, okay, is it tube wrong? Is it, is it, I ain't have to figure it out. She said, pray, God going to open up my whatever needs to be open. Right. I'm going to be able to swallow. I don't need that tube. I'm not trying to deal with the nuances. Hey, is it God, right? God. Is it wrong? Is it hey, No, no. You don't understand. I don't need it. So if it's right or wrong, it's so whatever it may be, I don't need it. My God. I'm sitting there. You sitting at the University of Michigan. All these experts, and they sitting there with white stuff on. Come around the face. I've been to school for 45 years. I've dealt with this. See, look, at where you been to school at? It don't matter. I went to John Hopkins University. I double majored. He triple majored in creating the earth, the moon, the stars, our bodies. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Come on and read, my God. Amen. Go ahead, but Frank. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not. Why? Because you stay focused. You stay focused, saints. You stay focused. Not only will we not sink, but our foot. Don't even have to be moved. My In whatever situation we, the power, that's why the devil comes so hard. Get him distracted. Get him looking at their situation. Get him looking down. Get him depressed. But if we can look to God and stay focused. Saints, if we can really look to God and genuinely have faith to stay focused. It takes faith to stay focused. I believe it was. Moses sent the spies out, and they came back. He said, what happened? He said, the giants said, they were fine. He said, but we were grasshoppers in our own sight. They saw themselves through their own lens instead of God's lens. We got to stay focused on God's lens. Lord, how do you see? Whoa, 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 whoa. We are, we are well able. Well able, my God. We right now. Amen. Saints, don't ever feel like we're in every situation. Because we're going to be in some battles. Yes. In which it seems like with the court, this, that, stay focused. We are well able. We are, it don't matter who the opposition is. As long as we keep our spirits right. When inside. As long as we keep our attitudes right. We standing for God's principles, God's standards. God, it don't matter if it's a thousand false prophets. If it's a thousand whatever else it may be. If it's just, it don't matter. If we stay focused and see ourselves as God sees us, we are well able. Well able, my God. Right now, let's go. Matter of fact, let's go take the land tonight. My we ain't even got to build up our, our bread. Let's go take the land right now today. We are well able. When you stay focused, you see yourself as God sees you. My God. You see yourself as more than conquerors. My Lord. Proverbs 30, 12 as we close. The power, and this is what we want to pray on tonight. Lord, grant us the power. Grant the saints the power to stay focused. The power to stay focused on God, on his promises, despite what we're facing. Because we all facing stuff, saints. I mean, I think it was the other day. It was three, four. It was one of them days. It was three or four, like life and death. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, stay focused. Stay focused. So-and-so, stay focused. They got our songs right now. To stay focused. 
I was just with the sister, and she really struggled. She ain't saying, stay focused. God got this, saints. God ain't going to put more on us than we're able to bear. God is, God is right here with us. He's in the camp. He got us. Come on and read. Proverbs 30, 12. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes. Saints, you know the problem with Babylon? They're focusing on the wrong thing. There's a generation that's pure in their own eyes. Read. I go to church. Bishop so on read. And yet, it's not washed from their filthiness. They still sleeping around with somebody they're not married to. How did this happen? You find out as soon as you have a conversation with them. Yeah, so uh, you, you, you say, yeah, uh, Bishop so and so my bitch. Your focus is on your bishop. Your focus is on some. Well, I got baptized when I was a baby. Hold on. The Bible said... He, and I need to say this because somebody other last week before last asked to baptize their child. This is the church of God. We follow God's word. The Bible said, he that believeth Amen. and is baptized shall be saved. All right. That child does not have the capacity to understand salvation, believe God's word, repent, brokenness and contrition. John the Baptist said, First, bring forth fruit met for repentance. So here, your focus, that's Babylon's problem. They're focused on some false theology instead of God's word. What did God's word say? That's right, brother. Then you're focusing on. What God's word say? What, what? I'm trying to get you saved, family member. Come get us saved and take a stand for the church of God. Listen, look at your own experience. You, do you lie? Yeah. Do you cuss sometimes? Yep. The Bible said thou shalt not bear false witness. The Bible said out of the same mouth come blessing and cursing. These things, you know that's not right. Yeah. But you won't get saved because you're focusing on some membership that your grandmother gave you. You're focusing on some baptism card. You're focusing on some fact that you shook some preacher's hand. Focus on God's word. Focus on God's word. If we get them to focus on God's word, focus on me, saints. If we get them, stay focused. If we get them focused on God's word and not some false hope, some false theology, there's some hope for them. We got to pray that this community get focused. We got to pray that some of our family get focused. Go ahead real quick over to Proverbs 12. Proverbs uh, 16.2. I'm sorry, 16.2. We wrap it up. 16.2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. You focusing on your focus instead of God's focus. Saints, let's stay focused on God's focus. All the ways of a man are right in their own eyes. Lord, hold on. I might be in my feelings. The way I'm looking at this situation I don't got your focus. Lord, this situation has affected me so bad that I'm, I'm focusing through my feelings. It's like a camera. You can take a camera and you can take it. You see the picture and it's all blurry. What happened? They said the focus was off. The camera works, but the focus was off. Sometimes we can go through something and we lose our focus. Our focus is not aligned with God's focus. Because the way my wife treated me and what she said, and I think I'm right. She, said, I, I, she deserved to be left. And you missed a good sermon tonight. Where, brother, where your wife at? She at home. Where? She wasn't ready. I told her, I'm not going to be late. I'll be at church at a quarter till or ten till at the worst. She wasn't ready at work all I'm working all day. She at home doing nothing. Hold on. Woo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Your, brother, your focus is off. Go, go, let's go to the altar. <laughs> and let's get a, just an adjustment. Let's get an adjustment so your focus is clear. Saints, let's pray for each other that God would help us. No matter what we go through, no matter what we face, no matter how dark it may look, let's pray for each other that God would help us to stay focused.
My Stay God, focused. My God. Amen. Focusing on God. He'll bring us through every, every time. single time. We won't sing. My God. And God bless the saints. Amen. Amen. Good word.